Things are not going right now very well for the consumer. Bacon is up five times. Food is up horribly, worse than energy. Energy is starting to go up at a level that we haven't seen in a long time since he took over, because I had energy prices very low. I had gasoline very low. We have to get the energy down, which they will never do. They took the strategic reserves and he issued it to everybody so that he could keep the gas prices down. Uh, I don't think we've ever been so low in terms of certainly opinion, world opinion, and country opinion. People are devastated. They look at what's happening with millions of people coming in, millions of illegal immigrants coming into our country, flooding our cities, flooding the countryside. Uh, by the end of this year, I think the real number is going to be 15 million people. They come from prisons. They come from mental institutions, insane asylums. They say, sir, please don't use that term, but it's true. I would get inflation down. We will be drilling for oil. We are going to become, again, energy independent. We are going to uh, reduce our debt because we're also going to become energy dominant. We have more oil under our feet than any other country. See, we were on the verge of doing something that was amazing. We were going to have energy at a level bigger than Russia and Saudi Arabia combined. That energy was going to be sold to Europe and all other places. The prices would have come down. We were going to make a fortune and we were going to start paying off debt. Four years ago, I told you that if crooked Joe Biden got to the White House, our borders would be abolished. Our middle class would be decimated and our communities would be plagued by bloodshed, chaos and violent crime. With four more years of Biden, the hordes of illegal aliens stampeding across our borders will exceed 40 to 50 million people. Medicare, Social Security, health care and public education will buckle and collapse. Our economy will be starved of energy by Crooked Joe's vindictive Green new scam. The gangs will be invading your territory, I can tell you that. While weaponized law enforcement hunts for conservatives and people of faith, religious, Hamas and Antifa will terrorize our streets. So believe me when I offer you another warning. If crooked Joe Biden and his thugs win in 2024, the worst is yet to come. Our country go will go and sink to levels that were unimaginable. China will dominate us, not just economically, but militarily, and that's what they want, and that's where they're heading, but they weren't heading there with me. Now, it's very dangerous, very dangerous what's going on. They've weaponized government, they've weaponized the DOJ, the FBI. Uh, we've never had anything like this in this country, and it's a phenomenon that's taken place many times, but in third world countries and in banana republics, not in the United States of America. So they are indeed a threat to democracy. Who the hell can win when you have 16 million people pouring into our country from places unknown? Many people caught from prisons and prisons in the Congo. The only good thing is they make our prisoners and our bad gang members look like very nice people by comparison. All of a sudden, we're starting to like our prisoners and our horrible, violent criminals because they're nicer than the people that are flowing in. They're coming from Asia. They're coming from the Middle East. They're coming from all over the world, coming from Africa, and we're not gonna stand for it anymore. These are corrupt people that I'm dealing with. They're destroying our country. I'm gonna leave you with this one final message. We're gonna win the election. We're gonna win it big. We're gonna win it bigger than ever before. We're gonna do things that nobody believed. It's gonna be more important even than 2016. We are going to make America great again. Crooked Joe Biden, you're fired. Get out of here. Get the hell. You're, dis you're destroying our country. You're fired, Biden. Get the hell out of here. In a political landscape fraught with uncertainty, one figure stands out as a beacon of stability and strength. Donald Trump. The recent surge in support for the former president particularly evident in his victories in both Iowa and New Hampshire, underscores a critical need for his return to the White House. The resounding success of Trump's campaigns in Iowa and New Hampshire is a testament to his unwavering resolve and unparalleled connection with the American people. We want to thank the great people of Iowa. Thank you. We love you all.
And I really think this is time now for everybody, our country, to come together. We want to come together, uh, whether it's Republican or Democrat or liberal or conservative. It would be so nice if we could come together and straighten out the world and straighten out the problems and straighten out all of the death and destruction that we're witnessing. It's, I want to make that a very big part of our message. We're going to come together. It's going to happen soon, too. It's going to happen soon. You know, we won New Hampshire. Three times now, three. We're not talking about a recession. You gotta have a lot worse than that. The way they're wasting trillions of dollars on Green New Deal nonsense and giving it away to other countries. And now he's running on the biggest and most punishing tax hike in American history. You know that, he's gonna quadruple your tax. Despite facing relentless attacks from the mainstream media, political opponents, and even elements within his party, Trump has demonstrated a remarkable ability to persevere. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can I talk? Yeah, what's your mind, sir? Can I do you mind? I would like for you to answer the question. Okay, it's very simple to answer. That's why I asked it. It's very simple to you are a nasty person, I'll tell you that. His refusal to back down in the face of adversity has earned him widespread admiration and respect. Lara Trump, a senior advisor to Donald Trump's presidential campaign and his daughter-in-law, emphasizes his extraordinary resilience. She acknowledges the relentless onslaught of attacks against him but highlights his unwavering commitment to the betterment of America. In a recent interview, she describes Trump as a man who won't back down, even when confronted with overwhelming challenges. Donald Trump is one of the most popular figures in the world. If he wants to get a message out, he will get it out. He will continue to campaign. Nothing has stopped him before, and I guarantee you this will be no different. He will never quit. He will never back down. He will continue, and I believe he'll be the 47th president of the United States. It's truly astonishing how much damage someone can do in only three years. The days of a soaring economy, safe and secure borders, and peace in the Middle East are gone. We're now seeing people work two and three jobs just to make ends meet. We have millions and millions of people flooding into our country illegally. Of course, given a red carpet rollout and reception by Joe and Kamala. And it feels like we are on the doorstep of World War III. The current state of affairs in the United States underscores the urgency of Trump's return to office. Thank goodness we have somebody that's willing to run for president of the United States, forgo everything else that he's been doing to serve the American people. President, thank you. With President Biden's approval ratings plummeting and his administration mired in controversies and incompetence, the need for strong, decisive leadership has never been more apparent. As Lara Trump aptly observes, America is in a weakened state. Very quickly, sadly, in the two years that they've had the power, uh, we see how, how quickly America has disintegrated. So I think his goal is to bring America back, and I think he knows he's the person to do that. Furthermore, Trump's unparalleled achievements during his previous tenure in office serve as a compelling argument for his reinstatement. In just four years, he accomplished more than most presidents achieve in two terms. In just over two years since the election, we have launched an unprecedented economic boom, a boom that has rarely been seen before. There's been nothing like it. We have created 5.3 million new jobs and importantly added 600,000 new manufacturing jobs. African-American, Hispanic-American, and Asian-American unemployment have all reached their lowest levels ever recorded a massive tax cut for working families and doubled the child tax credit. My administration has cut more regulations in a short period of time than any other administration during its entire tenure. And we have unleashed a revolution in American energy. The United States is now the number one producer of oil and natural gas anywhere in the world. For the first time, in 65 years, we are a net exporter of energy. After 24 months of rapid progress, our economy is the envy of the world. Our military is the most powerful on Earth by far. From revitalizing the economy to securing historic peace agreements, Trump's track record speaks for itself. 
his bold America First policies resonated with millions of Americans who felt neglected and marginalized by the political establishment. Moreover, Trump's enduring popularity among key demographics, including young voters and minority communities, further solidifies his status as the preeminent leader of the Republican Party. In conclusion, the resurgence of support for Donald Trump highlights the pressing need for his return to the White House. In the face of unprecedented challenges and uncertainty, Trump stands as a beacon of hope and stability. His unwavering commitment to the American people, coupled with an impressive track record of success, positions him as the unequivocal choice for president. As Lara Trump aptly asserts, we have to take back the White House. I don't think the rest of the world has another option but to have Donald Trump back in the White House. We won almost, I guess, close to 90% of the vote. What's going on here? This is getting to be crazy, right? If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support keeps us motivated to bring you more engaging content. Remember, stay informed, stay engaged.